assalamu alaikum dear students today's our topic is the generations of the computers as you all aware that the development of the electronic computers can be divided into the generations of computers depending upon the technologies used here are the different generations of the computers which are as follows so we will discuss the generations of the computers here are basically the five generations of the computers in the first generation of the computers basically we use the vacuum tubes and the duration of this generation is starts from the 1946 to 1957 after that the second generations of the computer based on the transistors durations 1958 to 1963 the third generation computers are based on integrated circuits the duration is 1964 to 1970 the fourth generation computers are used microprocessors and the duration of this uh, fourth generation is 1971 to pre till present and the fifth generation computers which are very familiar are and you are all familiar with it these are the artificial intelligence which is present to the future now we will discuss about the first generations of the computers basically the first generations of the computers used vacuum tubes the vacuum tubes was very expensive it produced much heat that caused the computer breakdown two examples of the first generation computers are Univac computers and the Univac computers. The advantages of the first generation computers are basically the vacuum tubes made possible make electronical and the digital computers. And here are some disadvantages of the first generation computers, which are uh, as follows: that these computers are very large in the size. they were hot portable they were not portable and they produced too much heat and needed air conditioning they were not very reliable they were more costly they were quite slow in the speed they consumed a lot of the power they were difficult to maintain they used punch cards for the input they used magnetic drums that provided less storage the output was printed using the electric typewriters they used the machine languages only these are the disadvantages of the first generation computers now we will move to the second generations of the computers as in the second generations of the computers basically these computers used the transistors the transistors was invented by the three scientists number 1 william shockley the second one is the john bradin and the third one third one is the walter bradtrain and the bell at the bell labs in 1947 the size of this computer was decreased by replacing vacuum tubes with the transistors the examples of the second generation computers are ibm 7094 series and the ibm 1400 series and the third one is the cdc 164 series these are the examples of the third generation computers now we will discuss the some advantages of the third generation computers which are are as follows basically the advantages of the computers consist of these points smaller in the size base these computers were smaller in the size then the first generations the second one is the they consume less power than first generation computers third one they are they were more portable the fourth one they had the high processing speed and were more reliable the fifth one is the they were less expensive and then the first generation computers they use magnetic core memory as the internal storage they use punch cards readers magnetic tapes magnetic disk and the printers the assembly language was used in these computers 
the high level programming languages were introduced such as the fortran and the cobol languages were used in these systems as well here are some disadvantages of these computers uh, these generations of the computers in which they needed air conditioning and concern constant maintenance the um, the commercial production was difficult they were only used for the specific purposes they were only uh, used in the very versatile environment and the now we will move to the third generation computers as the third generation computers it is used integrated circuits the integrated circuit was invented by the jack cable now it was an important invention of the computer field the computer became smaller in size faster more reliable and less expensive these example of the third generation computers are ibm 370 ibm system 360 Univac 1108 and the Univac AC 9000 etc Now I will discuss some advantages of the third generation computers these computers were smaller in size and easier to operate they produced less heat than previous generations they were more reliable and less expensive they consumed less power and provided higher processing speed the maintenance cost was low the keyboard mouse and the monitor were introduced for the input and the output devices they uh, the hard uh, drives were typically used for the storage they supported high level of the programming languages now here are some disadvantages of the third generation computers so we will discuss it <laughs> these are the disadvantages basically they required air conditioning the highly advanced technology was required to make ic's chips now we will discuss the four generations computers basically the four generation computers started with the invention of the microprocessors the microprocessors contain thousands of the ic's that of produced the first microprocessor in 1971 for intel It was known as Intel 4004. The technology of integrated circuits improved rapidly. There are two types of the in, uh, microprocessors. The first one is the LSI and the second one is the VLSI. The LSI is the abbreviation of large scale integration and the VLSI is the integration of very large integration circuits. Okay. basically uh, it is greatly reduced the size of the computers the original yeah. ibm pc the original ibm pc apple and the macintosh and yeah. the most of the wait and most of the systems were used in it for example these computers there are some dis uh, some advantages of these computers we will discuss here these computers are smaller in size than the previous generations the cost of these computers is slower than the previous generations they consume less power and generate less heat they are more reliable and powerful they have high speed of the processing okay now we will move to the last and the fifth generations of the computers fifth generations are basically on the basis of the artificial intelligence artificial in, uh, intelligence is basically the fifth generations of the computers uh, basically some applications of this generations are the voice recognition robotics and the game development the scientists are trying to create a computer with the real iq 
the goal is to develop a computer that can understand the natural languages input and has the ability to learn basically the fifth generation computers in the future might be constructed differently uh, differently than the today's computers they might be in the form of the optical computers that process data using light instead of the electrons the nanotechnology can be used to develop the tiny computers these are all about the generations of the computers i hope it is clear to all of you so kindly like share and subscribe this channel thank you so much